and there you go now who says that fishing tight doesn't work so that's two on hopefully I can get this in before that one drops off So that's right guys, um, as you may have picked up off that little introduction video there, we're going to talk about tight fishing. Now don't get too excited, I don't mean tight as in any perverted sense, but tight as in how we set our rods out when we're using three rods. So without further ado, let's take a little trip to Filippo's Crude Lake. Alright guys, so here's my um, artistic impression of a basic lake of you'll see the blue represents water the green represents the banks and the yellow represents a peg so let's make it a little bit more interesting let's introduce some areas where fish have been showing all right my little cocker spaniels these white circles represent could be fish jumping feeding bubbles um, just general sightings of where fish are showing themselves um, as you're walking around the lake all right so now these you'll recognize as rod points showing you where your hooks are this is generally looking on youtube and talking to a lot of different people and when you're on the multiplayer this is generally what people seem to do is have a nice big wide spread cover a lovely massive area and hope to god that they catch enough but i'm gonna let you into a little secret i'm not claiming to be the best angler in the world i'm not claiming to be the best at this game in the world in fact i'm shite at both but I'm going to tell you how what works for me and I'll show you some video of that hopefully will so what does work for me well this is my bog standard set out in the picture you'll see I've got all three hooks very close together and the kind of mid range where the concentration of shows are so alright I'm missing out three points on the right hand side one point on the left but as time goes on as I start spotting up and baiting up, those points are going to pull in closer to where I am. And you should get a slight effect that once those areas pull in, I will be fishing quite a tight area, fully baited up, all three rods in that tight area. That gives me one in three chance of catching a fish. That's just a basic example I mean please don't work out on the odds and the game mechanics stuff like that but what I'm trying to get at is with your rods spread out you're using one rod in one area you bring all three rods into one area fish nice and tight load up with your spot nice and tight and you're going to increase that tenfold and I'm going to show you in this video so I hope you will see my way of thinking alright guys so here we are um, St John's Lake time for me to put my money where my mouth is and kind of show you my whole strategy so there's my three rods quite closely together we're only fishing 30 yards out give or take I've got rod one is on corn rod two is on boily and rod three is on red worm uh, that order might be a little bit mixed up but I'll double check as we pull them in um, we're currently fishing on silt and oh here we go fish on I haven't even had a chance to spot out yet but we don't mind that uh, let's have a look come on as much as I uh, don't mind it taking a while to bring fish in I was kind of hoping for nice quick takes come on come on come back up the bank um, for nice quick takes so I can just demonstrate the whole idea of having three rods nice and tight don't think this is exactly a monster to be honest with you I'm quite a small fish really oh, I don't know looks alright Let's have a look, let's see what we've got. Lovely common carp there. Beautiful common carp. 18 pounds. Alright. Coolios. Alright, let's just have a look, see what bait I've got on this one. 
Um, so I've got the Corder IQD Rig 10. Uh, silt, it's the only silt one I've got at the moment. And I've got him on boily. And what I'll always do is I will put different baits on each one. Especially when you're fishing close. Because you've taken out the variable of the area that you're fishing. So you've taken out the variable of the area that you're fishing, so you can do things like play with your baits. Uh, I don't mean that. How it came out. Um, so I've got three different baits. Now that's one on boily. Let's see how the others do. I might have to drop a few spots out at the minute. Uh, shall I do that? Now I did set my spot to the correct distance. Hopefully it's still got that clip save. Yes, I've got that. So we go, right next to number one, let it come up. And I usually just give it a few seconds so you start seeing the cloud come up like that. You see it just near the base of the number one marker. So we'll bring it back in. it slightly and we can stick it in between two and three. Oh this is going to be too far, it's going to end up short. It's going to hit it on my bait. Oh look at that. It's actually doing what I want it for a change. Just let that empty out. There's the cloud. So Boilies had one. Corn and red worm have had nothing. Hmm. It's alright, it'll pick up. It's just one of them things, you just gotta go with it. If I get another one on boily, then I'll put all three on boily. That's pretty much how I work it. And that's that's pretty tight. I mean number one is a little bit out on its own, but that's not too bad. But uh if you look at if I put say number three in that direction, number two in that direction, number one in that direction, you're then using one rod to fish each area, which gives you a very, very small chance. A tight area like that, where there's a few tells, I've spotted up, it'll be pulling the fish into that area. I've got three, three rods, <laughs> three chance, three times many chances of catching. So I'm going to. Uh, Probably just leave it be for now uh, until we start getting some takes, and I shall bring you back in when they start biting. All right, guys. So here we are. Oh, there's number three going for a runner. Come on, start reeling him in. There we go. Just gonna try and bring it back up this way a little bit. Now even when I do skip forward, and uh, I don't keep you in the recording, or I don't keep the video playing, you can use the clock in the top right corner just to see that I aren't doing anything dodgy. Come on. Just bring it up a little bit more to the surface. There we go. Well, that looks like a common. Ooh, it's a bream. Still a nice little fellow though. Seven pound bream. <laughs> Stick her back out. I'll keep doing this until I find it like a predominant bait. If I get one on number one now, then that does kind of like mess up my whole plan. So I'll be one on each bit, but at the moment, number two is on boily, number three is on bloodworm, and number one is on corn, I think. What I might do, because one doesn't seem to be having much action, is if I bring one in, and I shall stick it onto something different. 
Yeah, it's on corn. I'm stick it on boiling. Oh, look at them jumping next to me. So let's just bring it to the side of number two a little bit. Let's get it out there. There we go. Tight. Let's bring it forward a little bit. There we go. Put it down. That's the sort of tightness what I like to fish. Um, again, I'm not an expert. <laughs> Do you know I'm, I'm not like massively advanced? I've restarted my profile three or four times um, through updates and stuff like that. I seem to have gone back to zero. But I'm not anything special um, with this game. It's just this is what seems to work for me, so I thought I'd share it. Alright, guys, so I'll. Uh, I'll join you when we get another bite. Alright guys, uh, 60 seconds ago, I said I'd join you when we get another bite, and literally less than a minute later, I'm into another fish. Alright, this has got a little bit of a pull to it, but nothing spectacular again. I am going to be pulling in some quite small ones um, because I'm limited on the silt hooks that I have. I need to start looking at unlocking some uh, some more silt. Is that another brain? Sometimes it seems to take ages when you press the netting button. But oh, lovely little mirror! Gorgeous, seven pound, seven pound mirror. Point like that. Let's try and stick it next to him. Alright, it's gone a little bit out, but we don't really mind. It's not too bad. It's not there like that. I can't remember what number three was on. I think number three is on Bloodworm. So, see you when the next fish. Again, I had literally said that, and I'm into another fish. On rod three, which I believe is blood worm. If it is, I may consider changing probably one to blood worm, because um, I've had I've had one on two. Let me look at rod turn a little bit. Come on. Your fight is useless. That's another brain. Four pound brain, that's not too bad. You see, it's because I'm stuck on a size 10. There's a boy like. And there you go. Now who says that fishing tight doesn't work? So that's two on. Hopefully I can get this in before that one drops off. To be like a little bit impatient with this one. But not too much. We don't need to rush it a great deal. Come on. In you come. Bugger strong. Come on. Come on. It's gonna get tight sooner or later. There we go. Come on, let's do this quick, 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 quick. Get him in the net. Ready, quick look. Look at that gorgeous mirror. 18 pound mirror. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Pick up number one rod. Don't, don't have gone, don't have gone, don't have gone. Alright, we're still in. We're still in fish. Fish on! Alright, they don't seem to have as much pull as that last mirror. No, I don't 
don't think it's as big as that last mirror. I mean, I'm, I'm putting quite a lot of stress into this, and it's, it's not even. I don't mind though. Fish is a fish. Alright. Love a little common. Eight pound common. Alright guys, so I'm gonna call it a day there. Um just quickly before I go, I hope you see how uh, responsive it is when you fish tight together. Let's just run through my outfits. So I'm on a IQD rig ten on a mole. It's the only silk one that I've got. If I did have a slightly larger hook size, I would be using that, but unfortunately I haven't. Um, I had boily on rod 1, on rod 2. I also had boily, and on rod 3, I had bloodworm. So, that kind of um, backs up just a little bit on what I'm trying to say. If you think of it as uh, a tactical thing, to stick one rod, one rod, and one rod, that's a large area that you're covering with three rods. However, if you get a nice tight area where there's a few cells, put all three into it, load it up with your spod, then in that small area you've got three chances. Alright guys, so have a good day and I will see you next time on Fishing with Phil.